Hello there, this is Chaz Gelf, and we are playing Capsule by Adam Saltzman and Robin Arnett. Uh, Adam Saltzman is known for creating Cannabalt, and Robin Arnett is known for an incredibly atmospheric game called Deep Sea, which unfortunately I haven't had the chance to play because it's in a museum in America. So, without further ado, I will begin. Okay, here we go, the diagnostics. Up and down to move your ship. Left and right to steer. And spacebar essentially does a sonar check. So with that in uh, mind, let's continue. Unidentified signal detected. Approximate distance 600 meters. Approximate bearing 10 degrees. Warning, iron fuel at 20%. So. Here we go. We've detected some ion vents. And we need these to get power. You see, there's two bars there, oxygen and power. If your oxygen runs out, you suffocate. If your power runs out, your ship comes to a standstill, and you suffocate. The graphics, as you can see, are fairly simplistic. It's kind of like uh, a little, you know, a little Atari computer. But the true beauty of this game is in the sound design. Because this game is freaky as hell with the sounds. Robin Arnett did a bang up job with this. Oh. I'm hearing noises. Ah, here we go. And this is what we need to find. And then when that happens, our fuel and oxygen both get refilled. Four messages received. Message one of four. Forty-two disc sectors repaired. Three, yeah. Da, 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 da. Incident report: trivial one hundred and one, minor two, major zero, critical zero. Minor incident data: two seismic disturbances. Profile matches natural origin. Incident report: trivial one hundred and thirty-three, minor zero, major zero, critical zero. Message four of four. Trivial 43, minor 0, major 1, critical 0. Major incident data, 1 seismic disturbance, no profile match. Erratic movement and periodic sonic emissions detected. New coordinates received, map system updated, new node identified outpost. Approximate distance, 1100 meters, proceed with caution. Okay. So now we have Lucian, Nitrox, and something, uh, Cycad, I think. Don't know what that is. Let's see, I'm going the right way, I can see the distances. Okay. You can hear my guy's sort of, you know, he's breathing away there. Okay, so you've got to dodge those, otherwise you'll your ship gets damaged and you lose power. Oh yeah, my, I was going full speed ahead there. Let's see what these are. I own vent and air pocket. I need air. And I can be done with extra fuel. Okay. Next site post. There it is. Okay, we're at the outpost. Three messages received. Message one of three. Hey Simon, just a heads up, but Probe 7 was a mess. We've always had to reboot these things from time to time, but it's getting more frequent and taking longer each time. Getting tired of it. Can you let me know if R&D is working on a patch? Thanks, Mills. Message two of three. Hey Mills. R&D still waffling on probe patch. Just keep rebooting for now. Not like you have anything better to do out there, Simon. Message 3 of 3. Hey Mills, everything okay there? Haven't heard from you in a while. Probably just the LF relay fucking up. Let me know if the probe picks up anything out of the ordinary. Stay safe, Simon. 
New coordinates received. New node identified. LF relay. Approximate distance, 1,700 meters. So as you can see, the distance is getting larger and larger with each of these. And this is where some of the uh, difficulty comes in. You can also see pylons. Let's see, yeah, I'm going the right way. Oh yeah, there's mines here as well, so you want to watch out for those. Oh yeah, also, I didn't realize this the first time I played, but using the pulse uh, will use up power. So you want to be sparing with that, unlike me. I'm pulsing willy-nilly here. That sounds wrong, but, you know. The, the further away an item is from you, the longer it takes to be scanned, so you can see here. Okay. Yeah, we've got air pockets. Nice to have on hand. Okay, I'll just keep powering on uh, my way to the uh, next place. Ah, here we go. Here's an LF relay. Okay, time to dock. Fuel and oxygen refilled. Four messages received. Message one out of four. Error unable to relay. Sorry, text is only channel, not giving error. Readings all wrong here, not matching probe data. Need help when you get this, if you get this. Mills. Okay, send help. Mills, I hope you're okay. Something is coming toward Alpha Base. Really unreliable. Hang tight. Regularity detected. Source unknown. Request additional instructions. New node identified. Alpha Base. Approximate distance 2,300 meters. Proceed with caution. Okay. So that's Nitrox. Let's just head on our way. Let's see. Beacon. Mine. Lucian. Psychad. We'll just keep powering on. I shouldn't have too many problems. Nitrox, Nitrox, Lucian. Ion vent. Ooh, I need ion. Okay. Let's just keep going. Probably done with air as well. I uh, can't find any air. Let's just keep going on. Let's see. Any air here? Ah, air pocket. Good. Okay, not far to go. Oh, jeez. That was a seeker mine. They seek you out, as the name describes. <laughs> I'm getting slightly scared here, actually. The noises are incredibly loud. Okay, Alpha Base. Four messages received. Dr. Vargas, just finished checking external sensors. Not what I expected. Measurements are within normal bounds, but not syncing with our profiles either. Jameson says Relay has problems. Lost contact without its post. What's the next step? B. Shit. We needed that probe data. Let us know if you get the Relay up. Been finding mangled drones outside the lab. Not sure what's attacking them, but it must be fast. Some luck we have. One more thing. Going to need you to check your staff badges, but in secret. No need to get everyone worried. Vargas. Voice comm is down. Get your staff out now. Lab is reinforced. Get out and signal us when you reach the dock. 
Hi, Dr. Vargas. You probably don't know me, but I'm working with Dr. A yeah, Dr. Yuan at Alpha Base. We're getting some strange readings here, but I can't find Yuan or reach the outpost. Help or advice would be appreciated. Simon Jameson, Assistant Alpha Base. So now we've got to head to the science lab. That's 3,200 meters away. Okay, mines, beacons, mines. Just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. Let's see what that is. Nitrox, beacon. Mine, antenna. Mine, antenna, mine. Let's go full speed ahead. Oh wait, no, it's using up too much fuel. Let's see what these are. Nitrox, mine. Mine. Ooh, seeker mine. I'm glad I caught that one early. Let's see. Ion vent. Could be done with. More iron vents. Air pocket. And another air pocket. And then just keep going. This is easy enough. Oh! That was... I think that was a seeker mine. Okay, getting close to the signal. They're like number stations. I can hear it. Ah, here we are. Whoa! What is that? That's a drone. Okay, made it. Ooh, jeez, six messages. Hey, Dr. Vargas, the AA183 results are posted on the server, but I can save you the trouble. No match on any profile we have on record anywhere in the network. That is all it had in common with the last sample, though. The spectrometer results are intimidating at best. Any ideas, Andy? That's enough tests for now. Seal and freeze the samples, and don't forget to make backups of the test data. The external instruments are here, here are starting to pick up some new data too. Though so far as it's as useless as the material samples. We'll keep you in the loop, Vargas. Different material, still no match, unless you count the, the patterns they recorded at Gamma Base. This is exactly what we mapped in the simulator here, Vargas. What's taking so long, Fontaine? We're waiting on the new pattern data. If you're going to run your own analysis, that's fine, but at least send me a copy so we can work in parallel. Vargas. Hi, Doc. The maintenance team just reported your instruments were right. There was a breach on the far side. No idea what caused it. Easy fix, though. Saw the damnedest thing on the way back, though. A fresh therium carcass. No idea how it died, but it didn't look natural. Let me know if you want us to scout it. AJ. Voice channel to Gamma Base may be down, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook, Fontaine. I need those patterns. Get your ass in gear, I'm going over your head, Vargas. So now we're going to go to Gamma Base, which is 3,900 meters away. Okay, that's a pylon. Mine the bacon. Ooh, ow. That was a seeker mine. Antenna. Oop. Gonna get away from that drone. Oh. 
This is looking fairly grim for me. Uh, air pocket. I could be done with the Ion Vance right now. Don't think it's gonna happen though. Ooh, Ion Vance. This is not going to be enough for me, is it? Oops, going the wrong way. There we go. Start here, my guys. Uh, breathe and get more labored as the uh, the air meter goes down. Ooh, that was a doctor. Ooh, ooh, that's an ion vortex. That's not good. Oh, drone. Air pocket. meters to go. Ooh, drone seeker. Air tank. I need your air tank. Booyah! That drone is right on my ass. Ow. Shit, I hit nitrox. Which way am I going? Ah! There we go. Probably not a good idea to stay near those. I might be able to make it to the next one, I don't know. I'm hearing the signal. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm almost out of power. And almost out of oxygen. Alright, that's it. I'm out of power, and I've just about suffocated. This has been Capsule. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play, and thank you for watching this video. Ooh, you can respawn, but I'm gonna leave it at that.